Yo, yo, yo. I'm back again with another video, you know? Three of them things. My name Trey, so it's only right I do three of them things, you feel me? I wanna, I ain't never get a chance to talk about this. I definitely wanna say rest in peace to Duane Wright. I think that's his name. Um, again, another one of us black young men is getting killed by the police. I don't agree with him trying to hop back in the car and leave, but just because he did that doesn't mean kill him. When you're getting chased by the police, nine times out of 10, they're gonna catch you. It's very hard to outrun the police in a car. It's very hard to outrun the walkie talkie. You can't outrun the walkie. It's simple as that. Uh, my thing is just chase them. Just chase them. You gonna catch them. Even pulling out your taser is too fucking much. If he wasn't putting your life in immediate danger, which your life was not in danger, he was trying to get away. He wasn't trying to come towards you. I'm just so sick of turning on this TV and seeing these kids getting killed for nothing. And it's not going to stop until these white people kids start getting murdered. As sad as it's going to be, it's going to take these white kids to get killed for this shit. The for only way is for something to happen. You know, my dad, he real old school. He tells me, son, if you ever get pulled by the police, just listen to them. Just do what they say. And yeah, he right. But that's not the point. The point is we're tired of these police officers using their power, using their authority as power. We don't have, just because a police tells you to sit down, we don't have to fucking sit down because you told us to. Y'all feel like because you got a gun and a badge, what you say is law. And that's not true. The law is the law. What you say is what you say. But just because you say it doesn't mean that it's true. Now, in Minnesota, it's a traffic violation for you to have an air freshener hanging from your rearview mirror it's time for us to change the fucking laws what kind of fucking excuse me what kind of shit is that what kind of law is that you can't have no air freshener hanging from your rearview mirror like what kind of bullshit is that the laws that have been made in 1949 and 1872 like these laws was made back then when shit was different and people moved different it was different it's a different time now these laws need to be looked over and remade kids are scared to go to jail they don't want to go to jail this man had a warrant. He probably knew he had a warrant. That's why he probably tried to get away because he knew when they ran his name, they was going to try to arrest him and he was going to go to jail. That jail is kind of scary to some people. Some people. They don't want to do that. They don't want to go through that. A lot of these men and these people is on drugs maybe and they got habits and they know if they go to jail they going through their withdrawals. Like they got kids. They know if they go to jail they going to be able to feed them. They got lives, they got jobs. If they go to jail, they getting fired. They like, it's a lot of reasons why certain people don't want to go to jail and will do anything to stay out of jail. And that's why he ran. He probably don't didn't want to go to jail. But I don't give a fuck what he did. I don't care if this man, I don't care what he did. I don't care if he killed somebody. 
no human being has the right to take another human being's life that ain't your fucking choice that's god's choice it ain't your choice officer a lot of these police officers again have been bullied or was nerds and lames and got talked about in school and they decided to become a police officer so they can have some type of authority so somebody will listen to them for a change how do you pull out your fucking gun thinking it's your taser and you training people and you did your own six months training clearly six months ain't enough clearly six months ain't enough if you can mistakenly pull out your gun thinking it's your taser when your gun weigh when your taser is weighs as much as a remote and your gun weighs as much as a fucking piece of metal how do you mistaken that how do you mistaken a big black thing from a big yellow thing yellow and black it's two different fucking colors Sorry if I sound pissed off because I am. I'm just tired of these. I'm tired of. I'm just tired of these police officers killing us, man. Y'all have no idea how many times I have been through this shit. I just thank God that they didn't kill me. I thank God that I had the mindset to know these these motherfuckers might take my life. Let me. Let me really think about what I'm going to do. I've had police officers pull guns on me for no reason. I was walking up the street one day and the police officer hopped out with his gun out, pointed at me, telling me to get on the ground. He was in a regular car in regular clothes. Now, what if I would have had a gun on me and I would have thought it was some regular person and I would have shot his ass? Then I would have been wrong, right? We tired of this shit, bro. And I don't even know what to do. That's the thing. We don't even know what to do. Riding ain't doing nothing. Protesting ain't doing nothing. It ain't doing nothing. What's happening? These motherfuckers are still getting off, man. Y'all giving AR app 45 years for drugs, but you got motherfuckers out here killing people. And you letting them get off with a, out a slap on the hand with nothing. I remember when Trayvon Martin got killed, man. I ain't gonna never forget it. I was like, and George Zimmerman, I don't even think he was a police officer, if I'm a, if I'm not mistaken. But it's like, I know they gonna get this man. Cause like he just shot this boy from walking down the street. He ain't have shit but a tea and some Skittles with him. Like how it's no way he gonna get off. Ain't no way. I ain't even worried about it. They put the shit on TV. Not guilty. Like I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it, man. Not guilty. Are you serious? Maybe not guilty of murder. Maybe, you know. Maybe he didn't premeditate and want to kill him, but manslaughter something. Just because he's charged with murder doesn't mean, oh, well, he wasn't murdered, so he gets off. No, okay, you're charged with murder. No, we're going to charge you not guilty for murder, but we're going to charge you guilty for manslaughter. Like, something, bro, something. You know, I'm riding down the street and when I see the police behind me, I get kind of scared, man. And no man should ever put fear in your heart like that. Like, I ain't scared of nothing but the man of death. But the police, man, it just give you a different type of feeling when it's like, bro, they might kill me, bro. I got three beautiful beautiful girls i'm not trying to lead them man i'm not trying to lead them all i can say is something has got to change i know this video won't change shit 
but something got to change, y'all. They killing us for real. And not only is they killing us, they getting off. What's going to happen? What if all these police officers who been in shit, what if all these police officers were black and all these victims were white? The first time that shit happened, they would have threw that police officer in the fucking cell. It's white privilege out here for real. And I'm not saying all white people are bad because they not. I got plenty of white friends who love me to death. I love a lot of them too. But it's like, y'all got white privilege, whether you know it or not, man. You don't even know it because you're so used to it. Y'all so used to growing up, you know, smooth selling, silver spoons. They killed him for just try, for trying to get away, man. But yet, when Dylan Roof shot up all them black people in that church, they went and bought them fucking McDonald's, man. It's okay. Just talk to us. Here, here's a burger. Here's some fries. It's sickening, man. And any white person who condone, like, black person, like, how can you condone this shit? Y'all watching these kids getting killed. I don't care if they're black. They're fucking kids, man. Even if they ain't kids. These people got lives. They got family. They got moms, sisters, brothers, daughters, sons. And they getting taken away from us by the people who pose to fucking protect us, though. The police are public servants. Y'all supposed to serve and protect and uphold the law not make up your own not do what you want to do not oh well i'm the police so he gonna listen to me rp george floyd man brianna taylor man all them people it's crazy it's crazy man it's sad it's crazy it's sad man it's like We might, you know, we wake up and it's like, man, I might die today from a police officer just from a traffic ticket. A traffic ticket, man. He had, a, he had, yeah, he had warrants from bullshit misdemeanors. Bullshit marijuana. Come on, bro. We still tripping on marijuana now. Every damn, damn near every state is legal damn near. We tripping over weed now. That's what we doing. Like, the world is crazy, man. And I pray for all my young black people out there. I pray for all my old black people. I pray for the white people. I pray for the Mexicans. I pray for everybody. Because one day it could be you, man. It could be you one day. And then you're going to be like, you know, a lot of these white people might not care now. But let it be your kid. Let it be your kid. I can't imagine my daughter getting pulled over by the police. They're little kids right now, but... I couldn't imagine my daughter getting killed by the police, bro. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Look at me. I'm gonna lose it. You hear me? And now they killing Dewan White. Shit, his mama white. His mama white, so, you know, y'all ain't, now y'all, shit, I don't give a fuck. They got any black in them, you kill their ass. That's what it's like they saying. 10 4. I want you guys to be safe out there. Have a good day. And if you see a black guy, you kill him, okay? Find any means necessary, you kill him. Over. That's, it's like that's the morning fucking talk or something. I'm gonna get me a nigger today. Excuse my language, but I feel like that's how certain of them talk, you know. 
It's sad, bro. It's sad, man. I mean, I can go on and on all day, but it's like something got to change, bro. Something got to change. We got to stop killing ourselves. We got to stop killing each other. And for damn sure, man, first thing, the police got to stop killing us, bro. I don't even know. Like, RIP that dude, man. He was a little kid. He was a boy. He was a little boy, man. Calling his mama, Ma. I just got pulled over by the police. It shouldn't be scary. It shouldn't be scary to get pulled over by the police. You should feel safe. You should be like, oh, it's just the police. Like, they gonna make sure you good. Ain't nobody gonna run up on you, you know what I'm saying? But no, it's different when your skin looking like this. It's different. I've had police pull me over just because I was riding through a neighborhood and I had a red toboggan on my head. And the she told me, oh, I pulled you over because you had that red toboggan on. I ain't know if you was a gang member. What? The world is crazy, man. And until these white people speak up, it's gonna keep going. And I'm trying to save y'all kids' lives b b before it get to a fucking, a, a real war out here. A black versus white. And, I, and God knows we don't want that. We don't want that, man. We don't want that at all, but we starting to feel like, man, y'all don't like us, bro. That's how we feel sometimes. Like, bro, they, but they white, they don't even like us. And us black people, man, we one of the coolest peoples in the world. One of the coolest cultures in the world. We fuck with everybody. We we take anybody in. Like, it's just a love we got. We done came through struggle and hurting and pain. And we know what it's like. So we just, like, show love to anybody. Except for ourselves, our own kind. But, you know. To all my young folks out there, especially my young black folks, man. Y'all got to stay safe. Don't put yourself in a position where you might fucking lose your life. I want to say when the police pull you over, listen to them. But fuck that. When the police pull you over, you pull your phone out and you record, man. You record that shit. Put it on live just in case you die and they try to delete it. Something like, we got to. We got to. Every time I get pulled, I got to record. I have to, I feel like. I pull out my my phone before I get to my license. Because I'm scared they might shoot my ass for nothing. It's a way to respect someone and still get your point across. So y'all be safe out there. Be careful, man. Just some words. You know. Survive. By any means.